started recording okay so guys it is a comparison between voice layer and tcp ip layer it's a comparison only lot of people think tcp ip uh, osa model okay so from osa model tcp ip came from osa model tcp ip came actually no tcp ip the dod model came very earlier than a osa model is designed osa model is just for our understanding of network and troubleshooting networking related issues and divide a uh, entire network related protocols into separate separate one okay and we are all using tcp ip we are all communicating using uh, tcp ip protocol suit okay we should not say protocol tcp ip protocol suit it is suit means combination of multiple protocols this one we can easily understand with the osa here it is in tcp application layer represents in osi application layer presentation layer session layer means application layer presentation layer session layer what are the duties are there what are the protocols what are the work it done by one layer called application layer in tcp the transport layer is transport layer okay why i hide put a colors here to easy to make it this is a belongs to one okay so that's why i put a different colors transport layer is transport layer network layer we call it as a internet layer physical layer and data link layer combinedly we can say it is a network access layer so tcp ip having four layers application layer transport layer net internet layer and network access layer okay network access layer so network access layer represents combination of two things one is physical layer and data link layer the internet layer is nothing but a network layer transport is transport layer and application layer is is a combination of pres application presentation session layers so of course we have a lan card like each layer we are telling about a devices right physical layer hub data link layer switch network layer router okay but where is this nic lan card we are using nics we are using to connect local network right so this is based on tcp ip it is a network access layer because your nic is a physical connectivity and also there is a mac address so that's it is network access layer okay so this is a tcp ip and osa model comparison the next one i said it is the troubleshooting using a osa model okay osa wise troubleshooting so i am writing again first of all osa model so please mark me present Who is that? Anjali Gupta, sir. Anjali Gupta. Very good. troubleshooting using 
OS model. Okay, first of all, we will put a up, up OS model from starting application layer, presentation layer, and layer, support layer, network layer, data link layer, physical layer. What we can able to troubleshoot uh, with the help of these layers. Physical layer is about a connectivity. Okay, so I am unable to communicate. Take like this two computers run in a network. So uh, we don't have a space here, no problem. Just I'm giving uh, only uh, a okay. I have a devices and devices are connected like this. Okay, so every PC, think like this, every PC, PC1, PC2, or any device has an IC, okay, so to communicate, it need an IP address, it need a, an IP address, for example, I'm giving 10.0.0.11, And dot zero dot zero dot twelve and dot zero dot zero dot thirteen yeah. and here it is a switch or a hub it is connected so this is how it is connected. Okay. So guys, so I am trying to communicate from PC1 to PC2. PC1 to PC2. I am unable to communicate. That is an issue. That is an issue. Okay. So and in this where exactly issue is occur? Where exactly issue is occur? So some people like you believe in same thing like a there is a called SOP standard operating procedure. So they will define only one thing. OK, it's a standard like that. So it is first we have to check the physical connectivity, then IP address, then application firewalls like that. But we can easily understand by looking at, for example, um, 
I'll try. <laughs> so you can see the network connectivity. The symbol it is it is showing a network connectivity. It may shows in a cross mark. Okay, so cross mark. It for me it is not showing. Okay, for me it is not showing because of I already connected. So look at here. Uh, I will show you. Network disconnected. Okay, so it may shows not like this. It is uh, uh, other kind of symbols. So, so in Windows Seven. Okay, so on system it may shows like a, there is a, a connectivity symbol exactly say in this area you can see this is wi-fi is disconnected a it is showing right that is your wi-fi is disconnected okay the this one symbol represents the wi-fi is disconnected first of all check connectivity of course Wi-Fi is connected or not? It is connected. It is connected. No problem in that connectivity. It is showing a connected like this. It is cross mark means cross mark means disconnected. Wire is disconnected. Okay. Uh, this one. This is no internet. This represent no internet different symbols guys if you see that one so you will understand the different symbolic representation in a windows 10 this means no internet you may may not connected but there is no internet connectivity okay the your wi-fi you are not connected to wi-fi this is represent you are not connected to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connection, you are not given username, password kind of stuff. So you have to give it. So Wi-Fi, no signal or no connectivity. No signal, no connectivity. And this is also a good example like to connect it. So it's a good thing. This is so when you go to ncpa.cpl, you go to the network and sharing center, it may shows like this, okay, like this. Network is not connected. Network is disconnected. Can you see cross mark? What is the bottom one showing? It is signal is there means Wi-Fi is connected. Wired connectivity is not connected. This represents not connected. This represent connected. This represent connected. Connected. What is this dark one? That is why it is showing a blur. And I will show you this. This represent disconnected or a disabled. So I'm disabling this adapter and disabling this adapter. Look at here, guys. It is showing like this. Not like a blue, bright blue color. It is showing a dull color, means like a white color, gray color. This represent it is disabled. Okay. So how to enable it? Right click, enable. This also you can check it.
Where is mine? Yeah. So first of all, very important one is connectivity. Sometimes you have to check whether it is disabled. So the first one is red cross mark. You have to check it. leave like this only guys sometimes it will shows disable adapter is got it disabled what is this meaning this is disconnected which one went which place <laughs> okay this is means disconnected and what is this means it is disabled this part is showing disabled so what to do you have to enable it try to enable it so make sure that connectivity is there or not second it's if it is a wide connectivity wide connectivity laptop or desktop it is a wide connectivity Already we know this your laptop or a desktop wide connectivity is there. So make sure that is. You have to make sure that it like connectivity. Okay, like this, this is the wire connectivity. <coughs> RJ45 connector. Sir, it's a fetch cable. Yeah, it's a patch cable. The cable we call it as a patch cable. OK, so make sure that your RJ45 connectivity is there or not. If it is a wide one, it is a wireless one. We don't know, right? <laughs> if it is a wireless one, we have to do some troubleshooting. So in physical connectivity only, I'm telling. OK, so make sure that is wide if it is a wide make sure it is wide connectivity if it is a wireless we don't have any internal uh, uh, how to check the wireless uh, devices there or not we have to go through this symbol only okay wireless connectivity okay you have to go to which wireless it is you have to click on it and we can able to connect with it yes sir okay Another one is drivers troubleshooting. Device drivers troubleshooting. So I'm going to device manager. I'm going to device manager. So this is my device manager. This is my wireless network adapter. This is wide network adapter. For example, wireless connectivity is missing. OK, right click. Properties. OK, right click properties. Drivers. Uninstall the drivers. Restart your computer and try to get connected. OK, or update your drivers is possible. This one. I will write that one. So don't worry. <coughs> oh, 
how to go to that one. So either you can directly go to device manager. Like this. Top and side. General, you have to do general. This device is working properly. Don't have any choice. Where is device manager now? Here it is, device manager. So go to control panel. Device manager. What is your device? Because if it is showing like this, if it is showing like this, the it means it is warning. It means the device is not connected and device drivers are not installed properly. Device is not connected, and device drivers are not connected properly. Check this. Which device you are connecting? That device, what symbol it is showing? Is it showing question mark? Is it showing uh, um, uh, uh, this triangle mark or cross mark kind of stuff? Okay. This is to know things. Next one is go to control panel. To control panel, device manager, see what your device. Next one. Next one. So go to this and see general tab. First general tab. Go to this, go to general tab. Device is working properly means device drivers are everything is good. Okay. So this one I open. Okay, and see the general tab. And make sure device is working properly. Or it may show code 10 or code 20 or any error. Okay, so then we have to do troubleshooting. Currently, it is mine is good. Had to collect uh, any other error kind of stuff. Okay. Next one is same thing. Mm, drivers. So control panel. <coughs> So go to drivers. There is a few points in the drivers. So it's not like a, it's kind of hardware related troubleshooting guys, but still this is a target is networking related. 
but both hardware any device related or networking related we can do troubleshooting like this Okay, in drivers, we can see digital signature. If digital signature missing, drivers may not work. We can do update drivers. If you, you can do update drivers, you can do uninstall the drivers. Okay. Okay. So write down here the matter. Okay. Uh, guys, first here we can do one is <coughs> if device not working, device is not working, it's showing you not working, or you have you think you have some issue is there. One is you can update drivers, you can go to update drivers or you can go to uninstall drivers install drivers and restart restart this okay after uninstallation of now drivers restart your pc may your thing is issue is resolved okay so first of all we have to check your network adapter okay and right click uh, open uh, properties okay then go to um, Okay, so here select your device, select device, right click, right click, properties. Right click, properties. Okay, so this is tr basic troubleshooting, guys. One more is there, uh, one more is there that is also will add here. So, first of all, knowing it is connected or not. Okay, so it is connected or not connected. If it is showing not connected, check in a control panel. So, go to your control panel. This one is go to your control panel uh, related or um, um, easy to say go to search or a run open directly ncpa.cpl otherwise you can tell directly 
go to control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center. OK, and in that one change adapter settings. You want to know how to go guys. So from control panel, this is the control panel. Network and internet. Network and sharing center. OK, change adapter settings. You can see change adapter settings. And then this is the your adapter information. This is your adapters. OK, if it is showing. Cross mark. If it is showing cross mark means which adapter you are using. If it is showing that one cross mark means connectivity issues. <coughs> if it is showing a disable. If it is showing disabled. Disabled means. You have to enable it. Try to enable it. Second one is. If in case even you try to enable it. Connection is good. But still adapter is not working. Still adapter is not working. Then what to do? Go to control panel. Go to control panel. This one go to control panel. Device manager or directly can open a device manager. The device manager which device you are having a problem. Which adapter is yours? You can see network adapters and which adapter you are having a problem. It shows like this or maybe uh, down arrow mark. Can you see this is a disabled mode? OK, so for example, if I show you, this is showing a. Um, 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 triangle mark, right? See it is. Device not working properly because Windows cannot load drivers required for this device. Operation failed. So this particular devices uh, device drivers are not loaded. So it is devices unable to work. OK, this is advanced drivers. So you can update drivers or uninstall the existing drivers and restart. Uninstall the existing drivers and restart means it automatically load it. That's one troubleshooting technique. Update drivers. So you update a driver, so then you will get it. I will show you how to update drivers. Update drivers. Your drivers are in local system, so you can browse my computer for drivers. Search automatically for drivers. So I'm selecting first one. So it is trying to get uh, update uh, drivers. OK. Already installed drivers are already installed. So still you want to get update from Windows update select like. OK. Through Windows updates uh, the drivers may get updated if it is uh, anything is available. Uh, it is now checking for update. It will give it a lot of time. OK. So you can check for updates. That's it. So I'm closing it. OK, so guys, this is your device. Same go to network adapters. Device is working properly means good. But still you are getting an issue. Uninstall the device and restart your computer and try to check is any issues resolved or not. So this is. How to do it in this matter. This is connectivity drivers. Connectivity checking and drivers checking. But uh, how we can understand if it is a LED status like uh, related. OK, LED status wise also how to check it. Uh, if it is a desktop. Uh, laptop uh, LED is not blinks in generally. <laughs> LED is not blinking for a laptops. If it is a desktop. OK, RJ 44 port. A desktop PC. OK. So. For desktop PC, this is a how port is there. OK, so if it is connected. Then LED will blink. <coughs> like this. LED will be blink when you are getting connected. So can you see LED status? 
LED status. For laptops, usually uh, LED won't blink. For desktop, there is a compulsory LED blinking is there. Just I want uh, only one LED blinking. <laughs> it is showing uh, two ports. I need a one port. Yeah, this is a good thing. Look like a nice one. So guys, see, look at this LED blinking means connectivity is there. Means it is a, there is a connectivity is there. First of all, you should visualize how it is look like. That's why I'm showing these pictures. LED blinking represent connectivity is there. But both LED should blink or one LED should only blink. Which color? That is also there is a LED status. Okay, LED status. You can see here is a yellow color, something red color it is showing. So if you check LED, link LED, activity LED, link LED, activity LED. Okay, so this is activity uh, or LED, uh, link LED. Why it is both? This is speed LED it is showing. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's, uh, it's uh, something it is showing. Okay, if this link LED is off, means maybe there is a cable problem or a, there is a switch problem. But <coughs> disabled adapter is disabled adapter problem this led is off link problem it is showing orange linked orange is linking data activity speed led is off means this is orange this is off 10 mbps type connection both are orange 100 mbps connection orange and green that is 1 gbps connectivity Okay, so based on LED status, we will understand. We will understand. Okay, so if you see this LED, both are off means link is not there. Either it is your internal hardware problem or cable problem or it can be a switch connectivity problem. If one LED is blinking, another is not blinking. So which LED? It is activity LED or a speed LED. So obviously no activity, no speed. <laughs> okay, so if you see an orange blinking like a one led is blinking another is not blinking means it's a 10 mbps connection both are showing orange color it is a 100 mbps one is orange another one is green it is a 1 gbps connectivity so like that we can understand led indication so we can understand the connectivity related issues so this is and this is so if in case your LED is off, both LEDs are off. Then what to do? Check inside the cross mark is there or adapter is disabled. There is a possibility. Another one is driver's related issue. At your system side, that is. Another side is check the cable. Another side is check the cable. And uh, um, what we can say, switch connectivity 
switch switch led status so can you see switch led status take the switch led status so one side your system is connected means other side the l other side device is connected right other side switch is connected so if it is also blinking properly we will see that okay both side connectivity is important <coughs> just i need this part of picture only just for uh, getting something <laughs> this is how to cut this part. I have to are there no? Okay, so this is at search, guys. Just I'm giving pictures. To understand at switch and hub there is a led status it means here you have to check it here also you have to check it okay so that's the both the things at pc side and the switch side both the side you have to check it actually we can remove this and you can put it this thing into upside okay this is at system side LED indication. At uh, switch side, this is LED indication. Okay. For laptop also, there is a connectivity. Just to, just to show that one okay so this is uh, guys understand physical connectivity how to check physical connectivity with led blinking and all and device drivers related troubleshooting Am I, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That's why I'm asking. 
do you understand how to check the connectivity in a both control panel or is it is a disconnected like this cross mark or it is a disabled okay and uh, if it is a wide type of connectivity how to check the led status if it is there and uh, at search led status and the symbol representing the connectivity okay do you understand this part this part Okay, no one is telling anything. No problem. Next one is if any device you got a problem, so you have to troubleshoot with the device manager. Okay, so guys, you don't understand. Only one person is not understand. You can tell me, I didn't understand. Okay, no problem. Okay, it's not required to know like a other's opinion. You understand, you tell, you understand. That's it. Don't wait for others. Okay. The next one is network related. What are the things in network? IP addresses. You have a two devices, PC1 and PC2, is unable to communicate each other. Unable to communicate each other. So here I'm telling PC1. PC1 to PC2. So what I'm trying to do is I want to test. I want to test connectivity. So I check the connectivity. Individually, I check the connectivity individually. Now I want to test connectivity between PC1 and PC2. From PC1. So I'm doing from PC1. So what I have to do? I have to test the connectivity, whether it is both are communicating each other or not. How to test? What is the test command? Connectivity test command. Guys, you are wasting my time. Whether my voice is not hearable, then I will go somewhere and I'll speak loudly. No, sir, you are audible. No, sir, you are That's audible. Simple question. What is the test king man to test connectivity between two devices? Ping, ping. ping command. Ping command. Yes, uh, guys, one second. I will tell one important point is, guys, if you don't, I am uh, conducting testing. That is okay, work well, good. But you have to read each and everything. We are not giving any questions. We don't give interview questions. Yeah, yes. Last day entertainments, we don't do it. Daily have to study at least for half an hour. I'm giving a note, simple straight notes here. here yeah, is, yes, sir. This is a notes, okay? Daily, daily, daily straight notes it is. Okay, and this is a troubleshooting. Simple things. If you not interact too, I will get bored. You are Sorry, getting that I don't mind. But I will get a board, I will close the class. So what to do? Ping to ping command. IP address P IP address of PC2. PC2, very good. Okay, PC2's IP address, you have to do it. So I'm pinging to PC2, for example, 10.0.0.12 .0 is a PC2 IP address. Sir, okay. your, screen, your screen is blinking. Linking. Linking. No, sir, it's fine. No, sir, it's fine. It's, it's a internet problem for you. Your internet. Oh. No, sir, it's fine. Okay. Uh -huh. no, it's it's okay. Like you are not get one person is not getting means that is the, that internet. So please check it. Okay. So no problem. So you are sending a ping command. So you are getting a reply. 
reply from 10.0.0.1 meaning is connectivity is there okay it is ping success we call it as a ping success Successful. means connectivity is there okay for example you are getting like this destination not reachable means ping failed this is called a ping failed means an issue okay there is a issue or or request timed out this is also ping failure also ping failure means there is a issue okay ping success means no problem connectivity is there no issues connectivity is there in generally okay so these three type of responses you may get it so which one so reply is good one okay reply is a good one so i am trying to you show you that one pinging to some pc i have i know on one pc 190.116.172.85 or 84 i didn't remember check it i am replying i getting reply from that ip address means successful no problem and trying to ping to some other ip so it is trying to ping 90 bc destination host not reachable or destination host not reachable maybe the destination is not available i am getting reply from 59.15 means which is my pc i'll show you my pc page this is my ip address look at here hey yeah. i am getting reply from okay, not from destination here i am getting a reply from destination i am here getting reply from the destination host not reachable some more we will try some more. I change little bit, guys. Uh, is actually sixteen. I will sub it. Yeah, But yes, sir. To get some output, it was timed out. Okay. First, several reasons are there for uh, getting agent. Okay. I will show you direct. Uh, getting. Uh, okay. From here to here. So completely, I'm taking. Nice, nice. The starting one is. I am pinging to some device. I am pinging to this device. I am getting reply from destination. So ping is successful in this case. Now I am pinging to an a device. Different. You see, now I'm getting a reply from my own, replying from my IP address, and it is showing destination not reachable. Okay, so then I check my IP address. So whether it is I'm in a same network or different network, so that is I checking my IP address. Okay, 
my IP address is, um, for example, here it is up to here. Okay, so this is my IP address, guys. This is my IP address. So to avoid a confusion, I put this is my IP address. So I'm getting reply from my IP address and it is showing destination host not reachable. I will tell what are this, this kind of stuff and how to troubleshoot. Second one is I am trying to communicate to some device. You can see different network. It is different network. So I'm trying to reach out this particular IP address through my default gateway means through my router. I'm trying to reach out to this particular network. I'm getting request timed out. So what are the things you have to check it? Of course, you are having a connectivity. If you don't have a connectivity, you don't get any kind of reply. Either this reply or this reply or this reply. You'll get a other type of reply. OK, so some generic kind of a reply you will get it if you are not having connectivity. Means you are already done pinging means no need to check connectivity. But what we have to check it. You have to check. IP address of. IP address of your device. And uh, other device. Your device and other device also you have to. Check IP address. Both must be. Both are. In same land. Both are in the same land. Me must so so the both must be in same network network means ip network but now that is we call it as a ip network means their network portion is seen must be same or network id must be same OK, so first one is. OK. Both IP addresses. Must not same. OK, so that lead it to conflict. Means. For more devices. Having. Same IP. Okay. Same IP address that is a conflict. So make sure it is not a conflict. OK, so both said IP address must be in a same network. Make sure. Destination. Device. Available. And connected physically okay so i am getting destination host not reachable for destination host unreachable or not reachable means this particular device is may not be there in my network may not be there in my network maybe ip address is wrong maybe i have written wrong ip address maybe i have written wrong ip address or maybe it's a different network IP or it may be a device is not available. OK, so what to do? Make sure the destination device must be available and connected. OK, so I have okay. a, I have a computer and uh, the computer is shut down. I'm trying to ping, 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 ping. I'm not getting pinging. OK, so what is the meaning? Destination devices shut down or maybe it is not connected I remove the connectivity okay that is a another important point 
and their their ip my source ip destination ip both are in the same lan means their lan network portion must be network portion must be same local area network yeah local area network same lan i i mean the same network and the destination is also in the same network for example if a device is outside of my network google.com facebook.com outside of my network so not required to be same ip address right same type of ip network it is not required it can be different so one two three three th three points i told okay okay sir so here it is make sure you use correct ip address and subnet mask not required to use default subnet mask you have to use correct ip address for example here i use ip address it is same ip address right same ip 172 16 194 85 same only where is the mistake there is a mistake okay there that is actually 16 i have written type wrongly yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wrong. understand guys yeah yes, sir the side type and i'm blaming you are not connect yeah yes sir. so my input is wrong yes, sir. okay so that is the point. So all these things mainly destination host not reachable. Okay. Next, the request timed out. Request timed out also there. Uh, okay. So in generally not not only because of that one. Default gateway configuration. Okay. Check the default gateway IP address. First check default gateway IP address because most of the IP address are from DHCP. Mostly wrong IP address configuration is not there. Okay. Ping to default gateway IP address for example what is my default gateway IP address what is my default gateway this is a default gateway okay so I'm pinging to my default gateway 192 uh, sorry 172 16 192.1 uh, you may get a doubt it is there is a 94 and this is a 92 right my IP address is 94 and this is 92 guys it is because of this subnetted network it is not subnetting network it is a subnetted and it is a class B so I can change little bit here it is zero to avoid a confusion because it's a subnetted network network is subnetting they use subnetting concept but what it is showing default gateway okay i am getting reply from my default gateway i am getting reply from default gateway like this Actually, I use um, change this one <laughs> to avoid another confusion. So I am pinging to my default gateway. What is the use of pinging to default gateway?
from your PC or device to your router up to up to your router. Path is clear. OK, you are getting connected properly. Outside connection we don't. OK, so look at here. Uh, you are pinging to Google.com, Facebook.com, YouTube.com. OK, some outside connectivity you are trying. OK, you are communicating. You are trying to communicate someone in the network. What are the protocol it is? You are trying to communicate from here. OK, so you have to cross your router, right? This is your gateway. From your to here, path is clear. From this That's one, what will happen? Modem. No. Modem. Yeah, modem. So we have a modem come, router come. Everything is there, no? Yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. It means from your PC to here, the cable is good, connectivity is good, IP address is good. OK, up to here, connectivity is good. From here, what happened? We don't know. For example, you open a Google.com, not working. Facebook.com, not working. So you want to make sure your LAN related issue or WAN related issue. You have to make sure that your LAN wise, no issues. What to do? Ping to default gateway. Ping to default gateway. This is one issue, guys. First time out. Also, occurs. So, occurs. Mm. Okay. Not the proper IP. Okay. Huh? Sir, pinging to default gateway. Yeah. We'll show our uh, LAN connection is um, that means my, my network connection is good. Yeah, your LAN connectivity is good from your PC switch or uh, your Wi Fi router up to that one. Connectivity is good. But but after that, um, after the default gateway, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. So if it is internet problem, we don't know. It can be internet value, not from your side, land side, no issues. OK, no IP issues, no connectivity related issues, whether it is wide or wireless. OK. It can be because of ISP, internet service provider. It can be, so your internet related issue, guarantee it is internet related or router configuration related. So request time dot maybe because of firewalls, built in firewalls usually, built in software firewalls, built in PC firewalls, request time dot built in firewalls, default gateways issues can be at a default gateway side. Default gateway don't know how to send this packet to the destination or maybe. Always <laughs> you have to blame on wrong IP address. You given a wrong kind of IP address. Remote device means the destination device. Destination device not available. Okay, so same. It's the same for a destination host not reachable. Unreachable, right? Unreachable mostly this is. Mostly it is either you given a wrong IP address or maybe remote device or a destination device not available. OK. No default gateways. Don't have any default gateway. OK, no involvement of default gateway no default gateway or no involvement of default gateway remember guys destination not reachable mostly will get a within your ip network ip addresses only within your ip network you given wrong ip like this you won't get a destination host not reachable 
you are giving an IP address, which is the destination is not available, then you will get a destination host not reachable. Unreachable. Okay. So default gateway issue is also very less. It's because it's mostly it is within the network. Okay. This is from your ping. From ping, you are getting a different type of errors. Based on the error, you will understand uh, uh, what is the issue is occur. And how to troubleshoot, guys? Of course, you understand the physical connectivity is there. And uh, you have to check the IP address from both the sides and make sure both side network portion must be same. Okay. And uh, no conflicts. No conflicts. Actually, this is also wrong. I given. Okay. IP address. Either of device IP address must not either either of the device either of the device IP address no conflict okay conflict means any device like I have A B C D E F G H P C S are there. Some PC, some PC with two two PCs configured with the same IP address. Either it is involved your PC or maybe destination PC involved in a conflict. So then there is an issue. Make sure destination device not available and connected. Make sure your uh, correct IP address and subnet mask. Okay, so one more is there, guys. That is a check your IP address again. So if it is showing a 169 dot 254 dot something dot something means it is a error issue. Okay, check your IP address. If your IP address showing a 169 dot 254 dot something dot something means it is an issue. An error. Okay. It's IP path address. Yeah. IP path address. It is. It is an IP path address. IP path. Automatic. Wait, IP address. Okay, automatic private IP address. Device get IP address. Get are configured or assigned. The address by manually or automatically automatically means the address from DHCP server means almost all we are all getting IP address from DHCP server only if you check it IP config hash all okay can I get can you see DHCP server so this is my DHCP server which is giving me an IP address that is my DHCP server which is giving me an IP address Okay, so here it is. Devices are getting IP address from DHCP server. You know how what how to check it also already I told and here it is a point. Uh, if a device failed to get. I 
IP address from DHCP server system assigns IP address itself. The system means the computer assigns an IP address to itself from Habiba range based on MAC address. And based on MAC address. Okay, what is Habiba range? is 169.254.250.1 this is the happy per range of course it use a mac address to assign an ip address to a given device so means how to how these two parts will fill these two parts will by using MAC address and this will be by your system only. Okay guys, so when you check an IP address, you have seen you got an IP address. Okay. Okay, you check an IP address. It is showing like this. This is because of conflict. This is because of conflict. This is a DHCP enable me. No DHCP enable. No means manual IP, but it is conflicted. That's why you are getting like this. This is manual, but conflict. Manually conflict is there. <laughs> okay. And DHCP wise. Uh, manual conflict sanitation. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay. So this is how it is look like when you check the IP address. DHCP enable yes. DHCP enable yes. Normal IP address you can able to see like this. If it is APIPA. It is look like this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very good. It is. Okay. This is how it is. Happy Pavel Akkar. In this time also, you won't get communicated. Get come. We cannot get communicated. It is an error or an issue. How to resolve it? How to solve this issue? So to solve VHCP server we start DHCP service if you cannot be able to do it okay that is one thing please start the DHCP service you have a DHCP server then you can do DHCP service restart Check. connectivity DHCP Check the connectivity of DHCP server. Connectivity of DHCP server. Connectivity, physical connectivity and the stuff. Okay, next one is get our PC. Get our PC or a device. What to do? Use this one. So one is one is Disable adapter and uh, enable adapter. 
one is disable adapter, enable the adapter. You know, control panel. Okay. NCPA dot CPL. Networking connection. Okay, so network adapter, disable it and enable it. Second is a beautiful one in a command line. Good command called IP config as release. It is actually flush configured IP address or uh, you can see remove. Or remove configured IP address. IP config slash venue. I get IP address from DHCP server. Again, it will try. So these two commands are beautiful commands. It is. IP config space slash renew and release. These are the two commands. And there is a lot of uh, issues are there, guys. One is I told about how to troubleshoot the PIP with ping command. Okay. And next one is this is APIPA command, APIPA range. Okay. And I only Go to two layers. What is the third layer? It is a paper range is reserved range. Reserved range. Reserved range. Very good. And also, I told firewall guys. So, what is this firewall? For example, uh, you take anything. So, go to internet, network and security. So, you can Windows Defender firewall. So the bottom is there. Um, easy to say it is. Security system and security. Windows Defender firewall. So this firewall is try to protect uh, your system from public direct access. Someone is trying to send a packet to you directly. Firewall will block it. Incoming outgoing traffic. It will check both incoming and outgoing traffic. OK, someone is trying to ping you, right? So that is you're not asking. Someone is trying to send a ping command. So what happened? Your firewall will block that one. You're not sending it. You're uh, directly receiving it. So that should not be allowed. Your firewall will block that one. Ping protocol is ICMP protocol. This ICMP protocol is blocked here. So you will get a request timed out. So you will get a request you are sending. You are reaching the destination. You reach the destination, but this one is not replying. Ping works in both the ways. Means you will send and you receive. But you are sending, but you are not receiving the reply. You are not getting reply from destination because of firewall. So the firewall is also operates like that. This is a ton firewall on or off. You can see there is an option. Turn firewall on or off. You can turn off the firewall like this. You can turn off the firewall. OK. You can turn off the firewall. That is not recommended. That is not a recommended. This is turn on firewall and turn off firewall. So it's in a control panel. Windows Defender firewall. Go to customize the settings part. Turn off the firewall. OK, so you got a some issue with the firewall. Then you can turn off the firewall temporarily, but is not recommended because when you are in the public network, so you may get an issue. Okay, you may get an issue. 
function dos defender that is on and on our windows defender firewall I thought uh, it okay this will try it will give you a uh, um, good thing about it but problem is with this one is of course I can make it uh, smaller. Okay, guys, what is the problem with the turn on? On on is to protect. Off is no protection. If no protection means if you are sitting in a public network, mainly like a, uh, for example, railway stations, you are getting internet freely. Um, cafe, cafes, certain cafes, hotels, you get a free Wi-Fi connectivity. So no protection. You are all connected with a different type of people. You don't know. Who is the person is sitting with you? So what happened? If they have IP scanner, they know your IP address. It is very simple to attack on your system in the LAN. Okay, I said with the IP address or MAC address, you cannot get hacked or attacked. That is internet. That is because of there is a two type of networks: private, public IP address. But here it yeah. is all are in your private only. All are in your same network. Yes. Okay. So this okay, is sir. so this is firewall now. It's not recommended, but if ping is not means like you are unable to receive a packet, so then we can do it. But there is other options also there. So you can go to this here. Uh, advanced settings. You go to advanced settings. There is a inbound and outbound rules are there. OK, so you can create a certain inbound rules. For example, I'm running some application. My firewall is not allow my application to connect network or connect it through network. See any desk. It is allowed already. It is there. OK, this is my outbound rules. OK, you can create your own rule. You can see new rule either program port number wise predefined custom rules like that. You can create your own rule also. Inbound rules. <laughs> My game related. See applications, protocols, port numbers is available. So, <coughs> and to show you a ping related one. That is called a core networking. Core networking related. See. HTTPS, IPv6, ICMP, echo request, IPv4. See it is not selected means no. Enable, no. Okay. Not selected means enable, no. IPv4 type of pinging, IPv6 type of pinging it is. Okay. So this is also comes under. This one. So firewall is not really required to turn on or off. Also, we can enable certain exemptions. And we can create our own rules to access. So no need to turn off. Simply try to create inbound or outbound rules. OK, for a your ping request or particular protocol, particular report number or a particular port number. You can able to configure. For example, um, uh, you know, in Linux is fine. It is quite easy. Okay. For example, I have a service. That particular service should be access. Not every service, not every protocol, not required. Someone request for a service, it should be allowed. Then I will create an exemption for that one only. Okay. I exempt this particular service or particular protocol can go through the firewall. Okay, 
so i will create either if it is defined already i will do it otherwise i will create a new rule so uh, i can do it uh, otherwise uh, it's already there so i'll click on new rule just to show a new rule like a program port number kind of stuff just for understanding guys so firewall is used to protect your uh, system from network attacks but you can create a new rule either program rule port number rule predefined or a custom rules you can able to create as per your requirement in the network okay uh, this it um, basic part uh, so this is so much time i have taken uh, for this one but i hope little bit understanding session id session id so uh, that is uh, we cannot do anything with session id encryption we know already okay so make sure uh, the protocols ssl or psl kind of concept okay so guys certain protocols are http some are https so you have to check it so make sure protocols so okay protocol or ssl are not secure and no security that is important application wise okay using a proper application like a web browser uh, kind of related things uh, i'm uh, i told lot of things so uh, basic things I, I am unable to tell so the here it is i have written these things yeah so what i will do i will give you all these things OS a layer wise troubleshooting. Sir. Tell me, tell me. Sir, in inbound rules, what do you create? I didn't get that. Yeah, no, not a big deal. Not a big deal, but inbound or outbound rules means uh, inbound means uh, accepting. Inbound means accepting, mm -hmm. like you are getting connected from outside to inside. So you have to open that port if, number. Or a means means if number. somebody sent a packet or something else, we will receive. Yeah, you want to ping me? You want to ping me? In my inbound rules, I have to enable this ICMP protocol. Oh. Like if I want to ping you. In my outbound roles, ICMP is disabled, so I cannot send ping to outside. So I have to get enabled to it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But don't do it anything on your system, guys, just for our understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, so application layer is you can see application layer is dealing with your protocols applications. I open some web page. I'll show you that web page. Uh, uh, some web page, some URL I've opened. Here, I try to open some page. This page is not available. Server is available. Server is available, but page is not available. What I'm getting? Sorry, we cannot seem to find resource we are looking for. Like this. Can you see this top corner? 404. 404 page not found. 404 page not found. Same, I will go to Java T point. It is very easy to show from here. That's why I'm open. Something I open. Some link here. Uh, there's so many links are there. This is good. Yeah. This is the page. I type something page. Okay, like this. What it is I'm getting? Phone not for error. If I'm getting phone not for error, means 
page not found error means it is not related to it may related to your web server it may related to your web server or maybe url related issue url related issue okay page not found server mail server is down and able to send and receive a mail maybe my mail server is also problem maybe you are using wrong protocols for the service maybe you are using wrong protocols for the service i will show you application related issue that's why morning only i started uh, on this uh, kind of stuff so i want to find my putty guys this is also an application i want to connect my remote linux pc So that is SSH server, but I am trying to connect with the telnet. So try. So I am, it is waiting. IP address is correct. IP address is correct. Okay, I can able to ping to IP address, right? Already we done pinging. So ping is uh, also we have done, right? Where we done ping, right? This is same IP. Ping is successful means connectivity is there. Connectivity is there, but where is a problem? Either it is protocol or application or remote server related issues. What I am trying to connect, I connect with a telnet, but that is not a telnet server. It's a SSH server. So now I'm trying with SSH. I am trying with the SSH. So I am trying to open. Now can you see it's got connected. So we can't see uh, uh, bigger lines. I am going to settings. Appearance. So this is my remote machine SSH protocol. I told no SSH protocol to access remote servers SSH servers. So this is my remote machine. I'm accessing using SSH protocol. So what I have done so that's IP address is correct and protocol is also correct and that is also remote system is running. OK, so if I'm not able to get connected, what to do? I do first ping test. Make sure both said connectivity is there or not. Second one is try to get connected. Okay. Second one, if you ping is not successful, then we have to do troubleshooting. Ping is successful. It can be a protocol or maybe service related, firewall related issue. So simply you can understand now. I try to get connected. First I have to do issue is there. Then first to do ping. If ping is successful, then remaining troubleshooting. If ping is not successful, then connectivity troubleshooting. If ping is successful, either it is problem with protocol, application, firewall related issues. It can be application related issues, protocol related issues, or it can be Firewall details issues. You can see firewall hyphen uh, cmd uh, list all. So here it is port number service SSH is open. So I can able to connect it. Another port number is connected like this. Okay, so we want to get connected. Those firewalls, there's either services or protocols or port numbers should be enabled in this device so i can able to connect it so either it is firewall related or it can be a application or a service related okay so then this is how to troubleshoot i uh, have one more is there uh, same only http 
it's not http yes guys this is http website 192 160 uh, not 192 it is a 172 16 194 85 same device with port number this port number only we can able to communicate a particular application called jenkins this application i want to access this particular site website i'm accessing see what are the things important guys correct ip address or a name any additional port numbers the url must be correct if url is not good you can't able to connect it so i'm getting now if i means network wise protocol wise service wise everything is good i'm giving a wrong ip address sorry wrong username and password that is belongs to username and password only not belongs to connectivity not belongs to ip address not belongs to server or service okay so you have to understand the level of issue so i am giving a wrong username and password so where is the issue is occur you are giving user password and server authentication related issues server at server authentication related issues okay not connectivity issue not a firewall issue not protocol issue not url issue okay so you have to understand based on what issue is occur then you have to do troubleshooting based on the issue not always required to follow the blind following okay always not required to follow the blind following okay so some protocol some or HTTPS, see, it is HTTPS. This is not HTTPS. Okay, it is only HTTP one only. It is only HTTP one only. It's not uh, giving this part. Okay, it is a HTTP one only. Okay, so these are the issues, guys. This is what I'm trying to apply. I have written uh, some story about a session layer session layer related issue i have written here but i told so much and it is too much this is completely not completely voice layer wise and general issues where you will see find out different type of issues put it in one place and write down a sop user do you it's not finding any errors standard operating procedures okay guys this is any issue is occur so how to check how to understand issue is occur way to check how to resolve the issues after resolving an issue how to do it that will be told by sop okay this i'm not going much because i already have taken from last two hours okay <laughs> so go through once any doubts are there tell me uh, later i will uh, i will explain it okay this is layer wise troubleshooting so once take a break and we'll go through one small uh, uh, session okay this is enough for uh, troubleshooting up to now once you are digested this one then we'll go for next step any any doubts guys I forget my password so i'm logged into my application now it is working yeah okay like that Yeah, yeah, so take a break guys, take a break, take a 10-15 minutes of break, 15 minutes is better option.